Good morning, everyone. Uh, I will be presenting lessons. I'll be the last one. So um, let's do it. So for this uh, presentation today, we will talk about the one of the subjects that we are studying, information management and research. And what I, am I going to present today? First, I will talk about vulnerability of systems, then security threats uh, for lessons, uh, security policy, critical tools for protecting informa information resources of lessons and how databases can improve uh, the company lessons. So that will be the topics for today. Um, let's go. So vulnerability of systems. Before uh, uh, before the internet, before the, the systems, everything was storage like in, in manual files. So uh, right now, like before, of course, they could uh, have unauthorized access, access as well. But right now it's different because everyone can access uh, online. So that's uh, one of the vulnerability of the systems. User error, errors that can be like a vulnerability of the system as well. Because if someone, for example, in case of glasses, which is a retail fashion, they have to upload all the like uh, type of uh, clothing, the price, uh, the size. Let's suppose they put an error uh, of how many pieces or the price that will affect the whole um, the whole business in general. So the is a vulnerability. Uh, another one is physical disasters. We are in Christchurch, and for instance, uh, the earthquakes is happening a lot. One of these earthquakes can damage um, one of the systems and can cause a problem. Ooh, so that's another uh, vulnerability of the system. And telecommunication disruptions as well. So uh, right now the systems are online this is with the internet. If something happened, they won't have the system. And hardware and software failures. There could be a problem that could make the, uh, the system fail, which will affect the the system so we have to be aware uh and the company have to be aware of these vulnerabilities and try to uh prevent those to happen and i will talk about it like some of the ways to prevent prevent that so i would just try to uh focus a little bit of security threats uh because those ones for example you it wasn't possible with the when uh, the information resource was just uh, files. So this is specifically for uh, online uh, uh, systems. For example, malicious softwares uh, can be uh, virus, Trojan horses, all of those uh, uh, virus uh, uh, softwares that can damage uh, the the system, the drive, the the computer. So this is a, a very uh, dangerous and uh, important threat that all the companies have to be aware of. Hardware and software failure and errors that I mentioned a little bit before. Hackers, um, hackers, which is like people getting unauthorized access and they can do different things. They can uh, uh, steal some of the information they can damage the uh, the system information. They can spoofing. So uh, for those who doesn't know, spoofing is just get into the system and put the information so uh, they to benefit themselves. So they will put a link to a different uh, website to a different place. So people think, oh, I'm Glasson's website, but not. They are just doing something uh, in a wrong or fake website. And um, fishing. Phishing uh, is like a word uh, um, for uh, people who would receive, an e for example, an email. Uh, let's suppose they receive an email and think, oh, this is Glasson's email, but um, they, they will appear at Glasson's, so the people would get information for the customers in, in a fake way. So that's some of the uh, security threats that classes needs to be aware and needs to uh, be prepared in case of th those things happen. How they can do that? Security policy is a way 
to prevent those security threats. What's a security policy? Security policy is a document with uh, uh, guidelines of things to avoid, things to prevent, and in case some of these threats happen, what they can do about it. So to do a really good uh, security policy, first they have to uh, do a risk assessment. Or what's a risk assessment? They have to define the level of risks and uh, where will be more vulnerable and uh, if those uh, if this something happen what damage can happen like it will be very expensive or not like they need to define okay let's suppose a hacker get into the system and see our information how bad this would uh, get us how this will affect our uh, our business so they have to make a very uh, detailed uh, risk assessment and just try to see um, where the system are more vulnerable and try to protect uh, those um, those points. The second point is the security policy in itself, the document, um, which as I said before, is a document with rules and guidelines to protect the organization from computer threats. And, um, Yes. The third one is techniques to manage downtime. So uh, Glassos needs to have the, the system uh, online all the time. So it can happen. A system crash can happen. Uh, a software can uh, fail. So in this case, if this happened, what they would do, they have to be have a backup plan, a backup server. They need to uh, have different techniques to manage these these things happening and the last one that is important to be considered is the auditions what's audition MIS audition um, so the company some of the company they will have like a, a department of auditions in, in, internally or they would hire someone externally to do these auditions that would they will go there and uh, they will help like to see the weaknesses they will see if they really are following the uh, the security policy they and they will help uh, glasses to improve the um, uh, the security policy the the actions um for in case some of these things happen perfect so next one Suitable tools for protecting information resource. So uh, there are different tools. There are different like um, actions that can, the glasses can do to protect their information resources. Some of them are authentication tools. For example, uh, if an employee wants to get into the system, they will have like their own password. This is authentication tool. Um, they need to be aware like of um, a difficult password not an easy one one two three four or birthday you know so uh, anyone can access so they have to have a, a real uh, authentication tool another thing that I saw on the website they limit the number of employees that have access to the database with customer personal data so it's not everyone that can have access they have to limit and um, yeah, the third one, they need to training all the staff. They have to have communication to all the staff. To they need to know how is critical to keep confidential all the information. Another way is uh, the security policy that I already um, said. But they, uh, for example, if you receive an email from Glassos asking for credit card number. That is not true. There is a fake because uh, they don't never send credit card number via email, and they don't uh, store all credit card information. For example, people buy something, they you don't like. If you need to buy another time, you have to put all information again. It's not stored because it's a, in case a hacker comes in and get information, they won't be blamed about, about it. They are secure about that, and uh, they have access control policies and procedures. For example, another important thing is uh, they have a secure soft layer, SSL. 
uh, this is a message that I took from the website when because I was going to buy uh, clothes in Glassons and when you buy there is this message so they do this so the uh, customers are um, uh, how can you say they they feel safe thank you they feel safe to buy something in Glassons is it safe to use my credit card to shop online and what they say when you enter your personal information we use secure soccer SSL so what does that mean is a technology to protect your information as is as it is transmitted to us where an online retailer uses SSL technology at the checkout the online retailer serves and your PC encrypts everything that you enter into your computer so all your credit card billing address will be encrypted nobody like from uh, outside will get those information so you're safe and they are communicating this to the customer so that people feel oh okay i can buy it so when you're buying from a different store just be aware that they have this okay uh so now i'll talk about the databases there are two types of database database warehouse what they call a warehouse because is the database where they put all the information from the past for the current information for each store uh, for example uh, in glasses they have 32 stores in New Zealand 30 no 32 stores in Australia 34 in New Zealand so it's a lot of store if the executive level wants to know okay which store is giving me um, uh, losses which store is giving like the best profit uh, which kind of product is better they have to use the, the database so that's how they will uh, improve glasses because for example oh this uh, clothes is not uh, giving any profit let's just take it out or you know they have to manage they have to improve their business uh, using the, the data and data mining is a different type of uh, database. They use a large pool of various source. For example, they would use loads of uh, source from the world, like from each uh, store, and create an uh, image um, to help them predict the future. So this one is about past and uh, present, and this is to help in the future. So they will analyze different source and see okay uh analyzing the those data um we can see that this this store is doing good or we can this product is good whatever so they will have information to make a uh, efficient efficient decision so that's some of the benefits and how they can use glasses to improve the business and that's it yeah. <laughs>